welcome to another episode of Pony 411. This is episode 69 for the week of September 7th. We said we would try and be mature. Let's see how well that goes. <laughs> I am your co-host Alcatraz, and with me, like usual, is Nemesis. We are professionals. Professionalism. Yes. Yes. So, we've got a few things. We've got a discussion a little bit different. We're going to try and change things up a little bit. We'll see how well it goes. We've got a comic to talk about. And we have a little bit of fan content. All, all in tears. So let's just jump into the news. Like always, if you would like to follow along, and we recommend you should, you can access all of our show notes at pony411.libsyn.com slash show notes. So go there, get all the links that we're talking about, and follow along. They're super helpful. They are. So let's start off with convention news. Brony Scott is scaling back to a one-day event due to lack of ticket sales. They're going to be reducing ticket prices, ticket prices to compensate for that, and they're going to be refunding people who have paid the higher price to make up the difference. Yep. So cons in trouble. Cons in trouble. Sounds you know. like an episode we talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Conventions. A lot yeah. of them. So, UK PonyCon is apparently getting an exclusive pony figure they're making. No clue what it is. All they've said is it's big and it's going to rock, which is apparently their theme anyway. It's mod. <gasps> I don't know. Imagine a big mod plush. Or it's just Rainbow Rocks related or something. Something. No clue. That's all they've said. So we're going to that. That's something to look to. Yep. Buck has confirmed it will not... Reconfirmed, I guess. Yeah, reconfirmed. They've the final confirmation that, yes, they are not coming back in 2015. A couple of reasons. One is financial. Burnout. Also need, you know, there's a bit of burnout. They said there's a possibility that it could come back in 2016, but... They said they're going to probably do a format change and venue change with that if they're going to. So maybe we'll see them in a couple years. Maybe not. See what happens. Josh Haber will be attending Nightmare Nights Dallas. So if you're going to that, hooray. Yeah. And the last bit of convention news, Equestria LA is coming back. Yay. Apparently that one was really successful. So Way back one, but yeah. then it went away and then... And it went away for a little while. Now it's coming back. No no date yet for that. But soon. Soon. They're so, coming. So, fandom news. The seventh installment of the Bronies 2 documentary shorts are out. And this one's interview with Sethisto of Equestria Daily. Yes. If you're interested in those. And it's likely by the time you hear this, if there is an eighth part, it will be out. <laughs> Probably. They tend to do they, that. Like tend to come out. Yeah. Sunday, Monday kind of a deal. Yep. Pony VRville has been updated. There's a bunch of changes and fixes. So if you're including the support for Dev Kit 2. Yes. For uh, Oculus Rift. For the Oculus Rift. So yeah, if you're checking out those, there you go. A video of Nicole Oliver doing the Ice Buck Challenge from Brony Can. It's up on YouTube. So you yes. can go watch her dunk her, well, if you pour ice water all over herself out in public. Someone has made this is a, fun. Yeah, someone has made a Pony Drama Generator. Inspired by the Minecraft drama generator. Yep. So you can come up with headlines for your own pony drama. You've probably seen it on Twitter how, yeah, people have been having a lot of fun with people this. People have been having a lot of fun. So there's a link. Go click it. Go Apparently it's been it. constantly updated. So Yes. And you can submit your own things to be added to. So apparently there's moderation on those. Thankfully. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> a YouTuber called An Angry Sock Puppet has made a, a source filmmaker pony video and it's a... It's a thing. Yes, it it's, is. <laughs> it's funny. It's weird, though. And weird. There's a link in the show notes. If you want to see it, them, it you probably have already it. seen it, but yeah. Probably uh, everyone's been talking about it. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's an, it's an odd one. <laughs> yes. Merchandise. It's not Gak, but Ooh. Hasbro's going to be making Play-Doh ponies. They're things. They're, it's, apparently there's three different sets, three different parts of it. One's molds to make the ponies. Another set is to make the tails and manes and the third one's to make the cutie marks yes so play-doh ponies which th means theoretically you can in fact make yeah. customs of your own because you can bake play-doh yep and you can bake them and they'll hold their form yay yeah so it's theoretically you make your own customs with this so make some play-doh ocs <laughs> don't do that <sighs> well they're molds so it's hey, wow what my why does your oc look like a recolored rainbow dash i wonder why <laughs> The Funrise Sparkle Horn and Shimmer Wing lines of plushies. Sparkle have been Shimmer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle Horn and Shimmer Wing, yes. Yeah, the 
that line has been released. Yes. So if you like plushies with glowing parts. Yes. Horn or wing. Horn or wing. As the name implies. Uh, yes. Go check those out. They've also apparently listed a line of 12-inch plushies. Mm-hmm. With the AJ has a rainbow fight mane and tail colors. A little bit interesting, but not much else is known about those. A little bit interesting, so something to look at. Yeah. Funrise is also releasing a line of severed pony heads. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> it's a little bit interesting. The Pegasi have wings attached to the back of their necks. But yeah, they're just just the heads. A little bit interesting. Yep, All right. that's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> More plushies. A Doctor Who's a Derpy and DJ Pwn 3 Aurora plushies have shown up at Hot, at Hot Topic. Yes. They look kind of a little, little yeah. funny to me, but whatever. They're there. A new line of Equestria Girls dolls with molded hair has appeared, including Pinky, Fluttershy, and Rainbow. So, yeah. Molded hair. Yeah, it's uh, brushable. Yep. The, the backs of their hair yeah. is brushable, but, but the still. tops of the hair is molded. It's a little weird. But there you go. A Piggy Pie bank... We'll just go with that. It, yeah, it's Pinkie Pie as a pig. <laughs> for Yeah, you put yeah if you remember the Twilight Dash one from a couple weeks ago. Yeah, there's a Pinkie Pie one. It's up on Amazon, 24 bucks. Spend money and put money in it. Yeah, there you oink, go. Oink, oink, oink. A Fluttershy brushable with large butterfly wings and Cutie Mark Magic versions of Pinkie and Flower Wishes shown up on Taobao. Yes. So, and the Cutie Mark Magic ones are... It's like a brushable, but they have their cutie marks replicated all over them, yep. including their eyes and up the their cutie legs. Box. And it looks like looks like cutie pox, or like you look at the rainbow fied designs, how they have their yeah. sort of yeah, kind of like that spread all over their body. And last of merchandise, Amazon has listed a ton of different merch. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple different EQG dolls. Sunset Shimmer's there. Sunset Shimmer with replaceable dresses. And such like that. There's a whole bunch more listed Cutie Mark Magic Pony figures. Including Sunset Shimmer. <laughs> including Sunset Shimmer. And another line of 8-inch brushable figures. Yes. Pony figures. Including Celestia. Including Celestia, yeah. No but no Twilight Celestia. on that line, which is a little bit interesting. There's no pictures of those yes, up none yet. none of those have pictures yet, but... Well, but it's a whole bunch of listings. You get a picture of the Pinkie Pie one from Taobao. <laughs> yeah. In comic news, a normal and extended preview in different areas for the Friends Forever Number 9 comic is out. So yes. if you like spoilers, go read ahead. Flim Flam and Granny Smith. Yep. Halcon is getting an exclusive comic cover variant for what we're thinking is going to be issue number 25. Yeah, because it comes out in November. said it, but yeah. So it looks pretty cool. It's got a whole bunch of little crossovers. Mm-hmm. Ponies dressed up as different things like Pinky is. Optimus again. The same one from that previous or way back when that old Transformers crossover cover. Yeah, and it's got a whole bunch of stuff. So mm-hmm. it looks interesting. Let's see what happens when it comes out. And Quest Your Girls Rainbow Rocks news. The soundtrack for the upcoming movie is going to be available on iTunes September 9th. Yes, and... That reminds me that that vinyl record we talked about way a little bit ago, I I said it was probably pulled, but it didn't occur to me that possibly what happened was they well, they fulfilled all their order, so they no have no more to sell, so they can't put it up for pre order anymore. Yeah, it's just never occurred to me. A, um, un, a, like a sold out or a yeah, unavailable but, on their listing. But it just says it's four hundred four not found. Yeah, but you never know. Imagine they just pulled the listing. Yep. Just because oh we're out already. We weren't expecting that. <laughs> and since we were gone for. Two weeks. Yeah. Three sneak peeks for the upcoming movie have come out since we last recorded. Yes. So. One of them you probably saw in the last episode show notes is because, well, I just put it there because why not? Yeah, we liked it, but we didn't talk talk about it. it. So, yeah. Three. (laughs) That's a lot. And they switched to Fridays. Yes. And the last one came out on Friday, which is great. Hallelujah. we can actually talk about it within a reasonable time period of it coming out. Yes. So, yeah. It was... Let's see. We, the first one was, it's in the gym. A bunch of the high schoolers are making like banners and stuff for the upcoming music showcase for the school. Yep. And Sunset's there. She's trying to help the CMC. And, well, they're like, we got it. We're good. And then, yeah, Sunset's getting a lot of uh, glares. Looks. And yeah. To tell, oh, hey, look, it's the main five. <laughs> five. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, yeah, cool. You know, they're trying to be friends with her, like, you know, I told them to do. Yes. <laughs> And, you know, they're actually being friendly with her, and Sunset's kind of, like, well, a little sad. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, well, well she's kind of paying the consequences for what she did. Yes. 
and Celestia comes in. It's like, hey, this is going to be a huge thing. It's going to be the biggest thing since the fall form. We'll no- cue and another then, round of Claire's. And well, Sunset Claire's. being really sad. And, oh, God, I felt so bad for her. Yep. The next one that came out after that was them all practicing. And Sunset's in there talking. And she's being grumpy about, you know, never living it down. Yes. Raging Sea Demon line. <laughs> yep. Same. That line comes out again. And then they show a brand new song. Yep. Which... I think it was, it was actually kind of mediocre. It was meh. And then Brad shows up. Yep, the Brad. The Brad. Flash Sentry shows up, and apparently and they're the speaking not role. getting rid of him. Yep. We were, I was hoping, I was really desperately, oh, not desperately, but I was kind of secretly hoping. Not secretly either, but I was just hoping that <laughs> Flash would kind of be relegated to background, non-speaking status. Like, yep, they're acknowledged his existence, but they're not going to go much beyond that. But yep, no, nope, they're trying. They're, they're going to see pushing that, which... Brings up a whole host of issues that I'll get into at a different time. Yeah. Need to say that one did not get our hopes up for the movie. I kind of killed that. Yeah, that was the hype killer one. That for a lot of people, everyone was actually like, okay, this movie actually might be really good, really good. And then that sort came out, and I was like, oh. And just, you could just feel all the hype just disappear for them, like across the fandom. The last one to come out was just recently. Yes. So I said Shimmer was showing all around the three new students. Yeah, Adagio Dazzle. Adagio Dazzle. Sonata, Dusk, Dusk, and Aria Blaze. Yes. Ha ha! Got it this time. Got him this time. Yeah, they're showing those three around Catwalk High because they just showed up. Yes. Then, yeah, well, they're kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's just, we see more of the villains, basically, yeah, in Sunset. Yeah, there's a huge amount of meat in that one, but it wasn't We see how Sunsets change, and we see how the villains are, so. Yeah. It was kind of a cool line. Yeah. One line that made me chuckle. Don't mind them. They're idiots. <laughs> yes. And we also see that the villain, three villains don't necessarily get along. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, yeah. Those are a thing. Yeah. The thing about the third one, though, it's like, it's almost the entire internet knows. So it's pretty much it's almost all about Sunset and Sonata being adorable. Yep. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sonata's going to become, very quickly become the favorite of the three villains. <laughs> if, if, if she, if she, if she is, isn't but already. If, if she, <laughs> it's going to be like... She's gonna, and if anything, I'm I'm gonna predict something that if any of them are gonna be redeemed or have a change of heart or whatever, it's, it's gonna, gonna be Sonata. Be Sonata. The yeah. other two are probably just too far gone to do such a thing without blasting with rainbows. <laughs> but her Sonata will be the one that will kind of change because yeah, she she just already has that personality that's open. She's very that. bubbly. Yep, ditzy too. And the last little bit of news we've got final season four of friendship is magic is going to be coming out on dvd december 2nd yep, there's a listing up on yes. amazon so there it is there you go if you're waiting for it to come out on dvd even has the cover yep there you go so yeah episode 69 try to be mature about this but we decided to be slightly immature slightly mature and have something somewhat on topic to the number we're gonna talk about shipping shipping if you don't understand why that's immature, well, you are an innocent mind. <laughs> you are you are somehow innocent, and I respect that. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, well, you're listening to us now. You might lose a little bit of that. But yeah, we're trying so to keep it. Some only are we talking about shipping. We're playing a game. About you probably may have heard of it. Yes. It's called Twilight Sparkle Secret Ship Fic Folder. It's a card game. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of that mm-hmm. while we talk about shipping in general. So yeah, deal some of these cards. Yes, this is a, a f- actually a pretty fun game. It's it's yeah. at first I thought it was gonna be a little bit complex dealing with the rules, but then you play a little bit and you realize nah, it actually plays pretty. There's quickly. There's a couple of times you have to stop and go wait what, but <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, there are open things in the rules to let you modify as yeah. needed. Yeah, and you can also of course do the house rules type thing, but yep. Let's see. So we got three gold cards right off the bat. Okay, hostile takeover. How all the changelings. Self insertion. <laughs> the OC one. Win this goal when three twilight sparkles are shipped in a chain. Oh boy. Oh boy. And play three mail ship mail mail ships from your hand in one turn. Yep. So we are going to force people to ship. Yes. Force ponies to ship. We're horrible people. So shipping. No, shipping in general. What is shipping? What is shipping? For those who don't know, what is shipping? Well, shipping is basically ship. Well, is relationship. Basically, it's taking two characters, sometimes even real people, but those get weird. Yes. Like, <laughs> some things get really weird. But anyway, it's two characters, and you decide to put them together. And sometimes despite logic. <laughs> Often yes. despite logic. 
basically you just want to see them in a romantic relationship because of whatever reason they look good together they their characters play off really well whatever so it you know crash course yeah right you, you decide that they would make a good couple so you yeah headcanon them being a couple yeah sometimes though it does come true because yes. that's why you have cannon ships and fanon ships. Cannon ships is something that actually happens. For example, Shining Armor and Cadence, that's a canning, cannon ship. Mr. and Mrs. Cake. You Mr. may Mrs. be able Cake. to argue Sperity a little bit. slightly. It's, it's one-sided. It's so a one-sided it's technically ship. Can, it's technically half cannon. Or, yeah. Right. Well, it's it's cannon, but it's not... It's a one-sided thing. It's not thing, fully so. a ship ship because it's not fully established. Yeah, it's not fully... But it's definitely established as one of the people in the ship actually wants it. So, Yeah. So, I need to play a card. Yes. So, playing this, I actually have to start it out and ship someone with Twilight. Twilight because Twilight Tide's always the start card. Yep, you always have to start with that. So, I need to look what kind of goals we have and see if there's anything I can play to that. That's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. Mm-hmm. That's, they're all going to be a tough one. Mm-hmm. So, cool thing about this game, all, all of the characters that you ship all have their own special powers mm-hmm. that you get to use. Also, that's the nice thing. If you don't have the physical cards, which you have to uh, either have to back to Indiegogo or be lucky enough to go to Con where they're selling them, yeah, you can still print out the cards online or even play them on that tabletop simulator game because it's in there. So, All right. so, anyway, shipping is like it's steeped in every fandom. Every fandom has it. Yes, every it's very rare when you don't well, have shipping. Yeah, there's it's fairly prevalent in things like anime. Yeah, have hand or. Uh, even video games, video Western, games, live action, Western cartoons. It's all very prevalent. That's basically what shipping is. Everyone's got their own preferences and favorites and things like that. So, and what kind of, are you into any ships? Am I into any ships? Are you into any ships? Into, am I into any ships? I've got a couple I actually like. Some existing listeners, long-time listeners may know of a couple. Yeah, there's one in particular I've kind of become attached to and that is well sunlight <laughs> for those who can't don't know the ship names that's sunset that's shimmer and twilight. twilight yeah sunlight get it because that's another thing about shipping is you try to take the ship the two names and combine them together and, and somewhat like for those who if actually you try like, to make it pronounceable word yeah like for those who like brad for some reason mm-hmm. flashlight yeah because it's flash but don't you know twilight. sunlight is brighter than flashlight yes yeah, sunlight's much better I so, myself have a tendency to... I, I favor the Dash ships. Of course. I think my favorite is probably Twi Dash. So, but Flutter Dash and Apple Dash are a couple of my... are pretty good for me, too. So, yep. What kind of... What kind of ships do we see a lot about? Oh, there's... Po- you know, of course, you got the, right now, anything... Pretty much anything involving Twilight or Dash are super popular. Oh, yeah. Dash is shipped with, like... Everything, including the kitchen sink. There was actually yes, a fan fix that happened. Did that. That it's actually happened. Are you done? Yes. You are done. Yeah. Okay. I pretty much sure just fell, fell into, into a trap. Yes. You have. Eh, da, 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 da. I took a gamble and it did not pay off. Yeah. What have we got here? Bon Bon is now shipped with Twilight. Rarity is shipped with Twilight. And Twilight is shipped with Twilight. Yes. So... But anyway, well, Twilight and Rainbow Dash are like the most common, either with often with each other. Right now, I think that's probably one of the biggest ships still right now is Twi Dash. That is like the single biggest ship. Yep, I just shipped a, a changeling with Twilight, made the changing Twilight, and got my self insertion goal because mm-hmm. I shipped three Twilights in a chain. Yep, uh, that's but, always fun. Anyway, the, also the goals are each goal is worth a certain amount of points. The first to ten because it's less than three players wins. Yes. So, anyway, Twilight Dash most popular ship because I don't know why exactly, but that one kind of seemed to mostly start and less than zero. When that aired, that was when that that was like when the t- ship really started to take off, and then it really blew up after uh, Reading the Wheat came out. It's just those two in particular. It's like I think at this point you could argue that Twilight is the more popular than Dash it's at this point. I don't know. It depends I would on, say so. Um, on things, I've seen a lot of Twilight so. ships in general compared to Dashes, but Twilight. But because those two are the most popular, they're also the most popular together. I'm getting rid of a goal. Oh. I just got rid of one and got an even worse goal. Oh, you... Uh, that's but, a tough one to get. Yeah, there's, some of these goals are tough. 
as also as far as I know, as far as I can tell, Twilight has been shipped with every antagonist bar one. Bar one. Which one? Yeah, has major and minor. As is this point, the only antagonist she has not been shipped with is Suri from Rarity Takes Manhattan. Well then, you heard that. Someone get on it. Yep. As far as I know, I haven't found it, but because recently I found one where Twilight is shipped with Lightning Dust. Oh boy. <laughs> I found it. I was like, wow, this actually exists now. So, so it's just kind of interesting how she's just she's been shipped with Nightmare Moon, with Trixie, Gilda, uh, Discord, let's see, Sombra, Chrysalis. That's actually a pretty popular Sunset. one. The Sombra it's, and Twilight. It's I'm kind of mid tier. I don't see it that much. It's, just like, it's mostly like two or three people really shipping it hard. Yeah. But. Which one is this one? We have to play two love poisons in one turn. Yeah. Oh boy. But yeah, that, that's just the ship is. um th- Those ships are this crazy. Just, she's shipped with so many antagonists. That's insane. Yeah. Dash is shipped with, well, absolutely everyone. Well, again, it's so it's Twilight almost. Twilight's probably, as far as there's. I think last time. Right was... now, I think uh, besides Twilight Dash, though, she tends to be com- com- commonly shipped with the other princesses right now. Oh, yeah. Celestia, Luna, Cadence, even. Yeah, that's that's a common one. That's become very common lately. Twilight too. and the princesses. Sometimes in more than two. <laughs> Princess pile. Yeah. Actually, I think that's a card in yeah, this game. That's a card in here. Yeah. <laughs> Princess so, pile. So, um, your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> I've been talking, so. Yeah, so it's just kind of interesting that she's just, you know, these two characters are the two most popular of all of them. You just ship Pinkie Pie with a changeling. Mm-hmm. A future Pinkie Pie with a changeling. Well, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Interesting. I don't have a lot to do this round because, well, yeah. Yeah. Have a lot of good stuff. Other so. cards. And unfortunately, of course, once I get rid of one of the goals, some of the goals I get rid yeah. of can make it easier to get. Oh, this is... Yeah. Yeah, Twilight did become. I predict this way back when Twilight became a first became a princess. I was like, I was like, <laughs> Twilestia and Twiluna are going to become way more popular after this, and they have. They they were already pretty popular already, but now they become even more popular. And the thing is, also some of these ships, like there is like no logic. Like to be honest, like let's one ship that let's be honest has really no logic attached to it and yet exists is the Octavian Vinyl. It yeah, that's what it, 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 it does. It does fit because musically inclined. No, I mean, but that's. I mean, they've never met. They've never True. even been in the same episode together until recently. They weren't even in the same scene together, and that was in that Rainbow Rocks. But they've never really been together in any. So it's just basically just they kind of because the two of them are musically re, music related. They've been shipped together. It's become one of the most popular ships in the fandom. That does not happen that often. I mean, people always, there's always someone, someone takes two characters who are vaguely, so it can be very vaguely associated with each other and put them together, but they almost never get to the point where it's so popular that if you don't ship them together, people actually get a little upset. Yeah. That, it's kind of the of same those... with Lyra and Bonbon. The only reason they're yeah. shipped together is because they appeared well, once together in a scene. They've been a times appearing a couple times more. But now more it's often. becoming more and more often. So I think the. It's kind of a wink to the fandom there. Yeah, I think they're doing it on purpose now just because of that. So I'm going to change things up a bit because I don't like any of these goals. Oh, boy. He's changing things again. I'm, I'm going to really change things up. Let's see. Who would work best with this character? Or oh. wouldn't work because this is going to be matter funny. doesn't matter if it work or not. That's the point. It's supposed <laughs> to be horrible. But yeah, that's another thing. Is, yeah, shipping see. sometimes just defies logic. I have seen... It's like, it's like for example, you, to ship Twilight with uh, Lightning, I saw it. There was no logic to it. It just happened because the author wanted it to happen. I just shipped Gilda and Derpy. Oh, God. Yep. This is a special one that lets me reshuffle pretty much all the decks, mm-hmm. including all the goals, which is the big one. I wanted to get rid of these goals. So he's going sh- to be shuffling for a while. <laughs> so what is this I have to do? Pon- pony cards are getting reshuffled. Sh- yeah, ev- every deck is getting reshuffled. Yes. Of all the current goals, because this goes into the bottom because I, because of the card, yeah. these yeah. get. Like I said, um, Octavian vinyl very popular. Lyra and Bonbon very popular. Uh, one that I've noticed used to be pretty popular and has kind of died is well, Twixie, and that's Trixie and Twilight. Yeah, Trixie. That is used kind to be of huge. It, yeah, it used to be massive, but and, Trixie's getting less and less popular. Even Sethista divorced. Tr- yeah, it's just Trixie in general has become a little less popular, but. The Twixie ship, except for a few ardent shippers, has kind of died off. It's like on the life support right now. Yeah, there's a couple Tumblr, Ask Tumblr blogs. Yeah, still and there's a couple that. stories on Fim Fiction, and 
Oddly enough, one that's kind of popped up recently that's kind of is Trixie and Maude. That's popped up recently. Yeah, I've been seeing it. It makes a degree of sense that, I mean, theoretically, they could have met at some point. Yeah. And I've seen, there's that um, comic series that's been going, plus there's a, I've seen a couple fanfics as well. So the two of them are now starting to pop up. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. I could actually, it's, it's weird. It's, I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see how it plays out. The loud, boisterous one and the quiet, reserved one. Yep. So it's is that anime? Uh, Rare Jack's saying. always been popular. Oh, Rare Jack is yeah. It's ever since just, Look Before You Sleep. Yep, that's always been a very very it's very, very big popular one. one, and to the point where it's like it's practically like teased in the comics all the time, even though they swear up and down they're not doing that. They're not shipping yeah. them together, sway up and down, but as they practically ship them together. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. I, I think, think they're covering their butts. <laughs> yeah, that. But one. yeah, it's, it, it kind of works off of how much they just. Um, antagonize each other whilst yeah it's the whole plus there's a couple lines from the show that's like well that can be interpreted as very flirty. flirty yeah you know, those the ending of uh, crystal, empire. crystal empire good things are a rarity yeah it's like wow <laughs> and, and the, the way they looked at each other it's like <laughs> if you didn't know any better you'd swear applejack <laughs> yeah. was hitting on rarity <laughs> yeah but, and rarity knew it but yeah, yeah it's it's, that has always been a very popular ship ever since Look Before You Sleep. Another and one's it works off the whole kind of slap slap kiss dynamic that you see TV tropes, which and also the country and urban. Yeah, it's, it's sort of similar to the Apple Dash ship. Yeah, so you see a lot of because yeah, yeah. you know this is a whole they're both stubborn and they're always at each other's <laughs> they're always butting heads. So that one's always been pretty popular. Well, recent one that's it's it's not super popular, but it used to be almost non-existent. Now has kind of become somewhat common is rare pie which surprised me yeah this has been surprising me this has been popping up every ever since uh the last roundup actually that one and then uh putting your hoof down those that those two together have been kind of become semi-popular it's not like huge but it's uh, appears often enough on that it's like noticeable trend of oh hey this is actually a thing now yeah it's it's interesting i'm not quite sure how well that one would work but yeah yeah, I'm still shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> Apple Dash is one. He's brought that up. But Apple Dash is one I've never really totally thought would work. I Anna. think it, it's rather cliche. I'll give you. I'm not saying cliche. One. I'm just saying I don't it's, think honestly because of the personalities. I honestly think that relationship would fall apart very quickly. Like I could see them I totally think, be yeah, attracted to each other, but some, it would also like explode within two weeks, and that would be that. Yeah, it would. It depends on how it's played out. It would just based on the, the problem is I think I have is they're too competitive with one another. They're so competitive that eventually things would go, and stubborn that eventually things would fall apart would because have, of that. They'd yeah, have to have, have to be a, a moderating, right, moderating party half the time. Yeah, there'd have to be some sort of, there'd have to be some sort of catalyst that would happen that would, that either break or make the ship. I, I would, I would think where there's there's stubbornness and that thing would come to a head. But then you have the flutter dash. I know a few people who really like that one. I, I, I kind of like it, but that's playing on the whole. Sort of opposites, not really opposites, kind of a deal. Mm-hmm. All right, now that I'm actually done shuffling, let's Finally. do some new goals. What have we got? Two unicorn chips. Make drop like was it? Oh, when three unicorn ships are on the board, we have yeah. one, two, three already on the board, but, which means the goal's invalid. Yeah, the we goal's have to invalid. Draw a new one, which we come up with. Ooh, we have to ship. We we have to at least have five future ponies in play. Ah, as of now we have none, I believe. No, we have one. We have one. One. We can make two because we have a changeling. If we mm-hmm. move it, and we can make it whatever. We have another goal when we play three Earth ponies. Mm-hmm. So that's one. And then another one. <laughs> we have to ship Twilight with Zakora. Yep. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yep. So. It's still your turn, technically. Yeah, it's still technically my turn. So what have we got here? I used to actually kind of ship Cherolite a lot, and that's Cherolite and Twilight, but that's kind of been, it's, it's wonder, kind of Big I Mac and Cherolite is sort of semi-canon. Yeah, now. that one kind of overrode. I used to see a lot more um, Cher, Cherolite. Yeah, a lot. I used there to was, see a lot of that, it, but it's it, kind of fallen off the grid. Yeah, it's, it's almost all but disappeared so. now. And another the one that's always that's never been popular that's um, apple pie. It's like had the best name, and, apple pie, and yeah. it's never been popular. Now it's even less so. It's like um, pretty much dead now that it's been revealed. They're probably related. <laughs> now it's nigh dead. 
All right, so I'm going to try something a little interesting here with a. a uh, I don't want to use those. That's yeah. a tough one. I like these these you cards. Like I don't want to oh. use them for this. Well, hurry up and do something. Yeah, so I'm just going to end my turn and pass it off. Okay, good. Make That's your a turn ship. to talk a bit while I'm babbling, or you're while I'm doing my turn. I think. What other kind of shipping things do they have going on? No idea. <laughs> What did you just do? Did you just get rid of my changeling? Mm -hmm. Just swapped out my changeling with a rainbow dash. Mm -hmm. I'm a little upset that you got rid of my changeling, but I'm happy you put a rainbow dash on the board. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't have a lot to do this time just because it's one of those, ugh, not a lot of greatness. So I'm just going to grab, grab, do that one play and then draw. You just kind of actually killed something of mine. Oh, I good. to do. Thank Hooray, you very much. I did something good. Ah... <sighs> Any ships in particular you hate? That I hate? Or just hate? Strongly or dislike? Strongly dislike? Just you know, I've never been a fan of Soren Dash. Yeah. I've never, I, I can't really put my finger on it because I don't have a huge amount of things against Soren. But, I mean, you're taking my most favorite. He'd be stealing my wife. <laughs> I, well, if, if you want to say stealing waifu, I mean, I, why do I like some other ships with Dash in it? I don't know. I don't know. But I just don't think Soren's that great of a character. He doesn't have... He's just about pie, and that's about it. He's just there. There's he's no personality. He's a doofus who likes pie, and that's about it. Yeah, that, that's it. So it's like... Uh, at least there's some char at least some character there. Yeah, and it's not like... Flash. I think we all already know one of your hated ships. Yeah, I hate Flashlight. Flashlight is... And what's sad is it's the closest one to canon. Yep. <laughs> it's getting pushed more and more to canon. But yeah, I don't like flashlight price basically because Flash has zero personality whatsoever, and and it's also it's like it's also weird because I'm I'm totally fine with I also really don't like uh what is it Twimac? I'm never really it's just because Big Mac is just because yeah. at the beginning the fandom Big Mac was like the only male yeah, adult male character, so Big everyone Mac. was shipped with him and it just got overdone. And we, I got sick of it, and that's yeah. why it's I'm like people got sick of it, so there's a strong backlash. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of um, Dash Mac. I don't even use that. Well, what I don't even know. use for the proper name I for that. Know, but uh, I'm actually fine with Disco Rainbow Light. That was. That's a Disco Discord and Twilight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually okay with it. It could be kind of funny just because it's chaos versus order. Yeah, although there's Dyslestia. There's a, it's, that's, it's, that's, that's a fairly like, yeah, it's popular, popular one. But it also got, it got recently got a nasty little... Uh, it wasn't nasty, but well, it not was, nasty, but you know, it got a little strike against it when Tim Megan's like, "Yeah, that's that wasn't a shipping thing." Calm down. Yeah, watch that stop people. Calm down, people. That's yeah. another thing about shipping. People like their ships. Yep. People will ignore any sort of logic. They will and, die for their ship. Yes, people will die. <laughs> they will go down with the ship. Yep. Go down with the ship. <laughs> Captain's going down with the ship. Ah, uh, you ruined my. Yeah, and now you're just sitting there. Not taking your turn. <laughs> you ruined my, my ship. Yeah, I, I'm not too fond of that one. Uh, like I said before, I don't really like Apple Dash just for reasons I've explained. Just it doesn't. I don't see it working. It's I don't hate it, but I just don't see it really working too well. Yeah. I'm trying to think of another one. I'm just like, oh, anything involving Time Turner slash Doctor Who's pretty much. You just, just don't like Doctor Who. I just don't, I just don't like him being there. So, yeah, by the fact, just by the, the fault. The, the derpy Doctor Who. Very, very, and also very derpy. Popular. I'm not too fan of derpy as a character either. So. so, yeah. But the derpy Doctor Who's is incredibly, incredibly popular. For reasons unknown. <laughs> I don't know why. It just I think it's just because, oh, look, we like Doctor Who. We like derpy. Let's put them together because reasons. Yep. And it's stuck. Like I said, it's logic like does not apply to shipping. Yep. So let's see. We don't have a Fluttershy on here, do we? No, we do no. not. I'm trying to think. We don't have any mail, mail ships. How many? That one's gone. Yeah, you've gone because that you. That one's gone. And then you took away the ship I wanted to use. Dang it. I'm foiling your plans. <sighs> you are foiling my plans. Wait. Which one was this? Yeah. Dang it. Because that was a changeling. I wanted to use that changeling. And now you can't use that No, I can't use changeling. that changeling. Curse you. Here, let's just randomly ship oh. Pinkie Pie from the future with bulk biceps. Oh, God, bulk. And just because I want to. You're swapping. I'm just going to swap so Rainbow Dash is shipped with two toilets because I like that ship. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep. And yeah, the thing about Sunlight, it's weird. It's like, I think I'm it's not that popular. I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm, 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 we're jumping topics a lot because we're playing a card game while talking. So things are yeah. a little bit disjointed at times. But, oh, hey. Basically, I don't think it's that popular right now. And I think it's because people, lost, people see it as Twixie 2, version 2. 
So Moonlight, and yeah. that's already it's already been uh, because of that it's already kind of got a bit of a bias against it. Even though the thing is with the, the thing about the biggest problem I've always had is Twixie, is that you have to bring Trixie up to Twilight's level, despite the fact Canon has shown that well, she's nowhere near Twilight's level, you know? Yeah. She's nowhere near Twilight's level, so Yeah, I, I didn't really understand. I mean the most the Twixie had going for it was, you know, the villains, the frenemies sort of that was it. I just got rid of my Derpy. Yep. Swapped it out with Druid Fluttershy. You just shipped Gilda and Fluttershy. You realize that, right? Yep. <laughs> yes. I'm We're a horrible shipping person. A but... Druid Fluttershy. Yep. So don't worry about it. With Everyone Gilda. Be, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You're ending your turn anyway, there? Ending my turn. Ending but your turn there. Anyway. Yeah. So the thing is, people, because pe- you think with Trixie, you have to, to get her, because otherwise... Trixie's not the type of person who's going to be to be able to take being second best, even or she's not even second best, but she's not going to be able to take being the inferior one very well. She's not going to be able to take that, especially now that Twilight's a princess and Alicorn. She's really not going to be able to take it. So that, that ship is kind of already dead from the start, despite yeah. other people trying to. You have to really, you have to really change Trixie's character so much that it doesn't work. And yeah, we're really going to need to get some points here. We're just not getting good cards at all. Yeah. So, I mean, we got one of those down. It's still not enough. We need five? Hurry up. Five. Wow. Okay. Yep. We're going to say... I'm going to just get rid of Gilda and replace it with... But the thing about Sunlight... Fluttershy. Yes, I just shipped Fluttershy and Fluttershy. Oh, dear. But the thing about uh, Sunlight, though, and here's me proselytizing about uh, my favorite... And I'm going to ignore that one's power and ship Rarity with Tom. You're done? I am done. Okay. It's already been established. Sunset was a student of Celestia. A student of Celestia. So she was kind of already... It's already implied. She is on Twilight's level already. So you don't have to, like, power her up to get her equal or anything. And they're already kind of, like... It's already implied that the two of them are... Two changelings. Ooh. We get a goal to ship two changelings together. Yeah. But, you know, the two of them are already kind of near-ish to each other. They're, like, the similar, but it's not to the point where, like, carbon copies of one another which is another thing which reminds me i've seen two light shipping if you don't know what that is that's two twilights together and outside of this game <laughs> i've seen it <laughs> two twilights shipped together mm-hmm. oh there's a whole bunch of those actually yeah and not They're to mention r63 ones yeah that's a whole nother topic we'll probably Rule want to jump into really quick i don't know we're running out of time though <laughs> yeah we are running out of time yes yeah, this is the sunlight and twilight the basic or sunset and twilight you basically you just gotta they're similar enough that they can get along now that, you know, Sunset's also not evil. <laughs> now that Sunset's not evil, like, you can see them getting along, but they're not carbon copies of one another. They're similar enough that they can get along and actually have common interests and whatnot, but, not, but different enough that they're not just... Is yeah. this narcissism now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just like shipping two, two rainbows together. Yeah. I don't think Which even I could take super that Super narcissism. <laughs> technically a narcissist for reasons of if you're in love with yourself to... it's totally narcissism well even if it's another version of you it's totally well, then that, then the same thing applies to you know shipping two twilights I know. together which or is actually two funny anyone's the one of the fix i saw was actually that was one of the things was twilight worrying that's just too narcissistic for <laughs> i have two to win and what was the other one? This card game is pretty much it relies on you abusing the rules. Oh, yes. Mm. And unfortunately, because you got rid of my third changeling, Good. my other changeling, I couldn't turn it into Zakora. Good. <laughs> so I can't do that. And I'm going to do something just kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to swap out Bon Bon, who is currently shipped with Twilight, with her brother. Oh, God. Yep, I just shipped her brother. Oh, shipped them God. together. <laughs> Okay, well, then. Yeah, well, that's well, that's gold the card, card is done. Now we're starting to get mail cards figures. Yeah. So you're done? Yep. Okay, so new goals. Let's see. Win this goal when you play three female female ships from your hand in one turn. Win this goal when three ponies with the princess keyword are shipped in a chain. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is... <laughs> oh. Who breaks on the love train? <laughs> what are you shipping? You are shipping Fluttershy and Mr. Cake. Mm-hmm. I just wanted the power. 
You just wanted the power. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Eh, maybe. Was it worth it? And what was the other one? Three female female ships. Three female female ships. Which is a little difficult, but not horribly so. Not horribly so. I only knew, what, two points? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's actually only worth one point, but every point matters. <laughs> but the only problem is, of course, actually getting enough, having enough cards to do so. We're running out of time, though. Yeah. So. You might actually have to finish recording before you... But anyway, I don't think we have any more uh, shipping stuff. We're kind of friend that will dry. So, stuff, so we're gonna while we're still playing, we're gonna view the. Uh, we're gonna do the comic. Yeah, comic, comic real quick. So. Because anyways, issue twenty three. It's all about the pets, and they realize that wait, all their owners are gone. It starts with Angel though. Angel wakes up, realizes Fluttershy's not around, and of course the animals freak out and tell him to basically tell him to go find Fluttershy. Yeah. And well, he says you gotta fly in Fluttershy, and they kick him out to do so anyway he meets up with the other main six pets and they all find out that the well the main six are kind of just mindlessly toiling along a Wait river a minute yeah never mind We're so right. toiling along the river and for some reason they seem to be hypnotized and so angel and the others have to come together and save their owners from some strange sea mare siren thing yeah so done it was actually pretty cool because yeah i'm done it's my turn but it was actually pretty cool because this uh this comic had very little dialogue it was all done through uh very basic stuff and it was actually a pretty interesting little experiment i think it actually paid off pretty well and i actually enjoyed the comic because it's just got a few silly things and stuff and just stuff like actually that fits the personality of the animal which we didn't get a lot of but we still act they actually have we know enough about it that they, we can say they have a certain kind of personality what do you think of the comic I thought it was thought it was interesting how they how they handled pretty much the almost the entirety of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's too much spoilery. No vocals. Yeah, no like dialogue. Said, almost oh, yeah. no dialogue it's, until the end. It it was really interesting how how it handled. I think it worked really well. Mm -hmm. right. So I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I also like the fact that Opal didn't care until she found out until how it was going to affect her. Yes, <laughs> that was that was amusing. It's like yep, right. that's a cat. I thought it was, and thought just it was pretty of, good. Just Winona just wanted to see Applejack and didn't understand. Yeah. Oh, poor Winona. But yeah, it was a really, really fun little comic. And it's a standalone, so there is no arc or anything. And the, the next comic will also be a standalone. So yeah, it's, it was just a bit, bit different from the main series of comics. And it, worked, it was an experiment that actually wor ended up working out. Last thing I have is fan music. So the first one I have is... Epistemic by Sonic Rainboom. It's a nice, it's, it's Psytrance is what it is. It's got a nice upbeat to it, and yeah, it's, it's just nice upbeat, thumping beat. It reminds me a little bit of the high stakes, Need for Speed high stakes background music. It's something good mm -hmm. to, to put on, like, drive, drive down the freeway with. It's got that nice, nice beat. Something good for the background. What did you think? It, I mean, it was all right. I mean, I wasn't, like, too thrilled with it. In fact, I was, thrilled with it. In fact, I was like, this is kind of long. That was my that biggest is, thing. It's like, this is too long for its own good. That's one. There's What I think it should have done is, because of all the different movements, each of the movements is just a mm -hmm. little bit too long to cause a cascading whole thing's too long. If they just shortened the little bits of each part down a little mm -hmm. bit more, it would, be, it would be great. The next one I have is Armony by LM or LM Wub or Lucian Music, depending on which version of the name you want to use.
just got. You just got which one? You just, just made... experimenting dash. With oh, three you just shipped. Emails. I'll let you have that one just because I like that. <laughs> you let me have. Oh, you let me. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll let you have that one. I see. I see how it is. So yeah, Armony. So now mm-hmm. it's it's liquid DMV. It though it has kind of almost an ambient feel, just because of how liquid it is. It's it's an interesting energetic, but calm at the same time. So it's one of those. I it's one of for me. Close your eyes and just let it fill the room. Kind of a songs. What did you think of it? That one was. Um, I think it was better than the other one. It was also still kind of, I think, kind of forgettable. I'm like, that's what I'm noticing. It's just these two songs in general are just kind of forgettable. So, yeah, it just, it was okay, I guess. I mean, I'm just not really, that was not okay. really, yeah, I was not really like, wow, about it. So, You're yeah. making this game difficult on me. Good. It should be. So, yeah. The last one I have is Lost by Forever Free Brony featuring Electro Blitz. Sun, so I can see again. On by he won. They seem longer. Let me run. Let me This one, it's it's a soft acoustic vocal song. I thought it was really good. It's kind of haunting, and I but I really really loved the flute parts in it. Mm. I thought it was just it was just really cool. So, what did you think of this? This one, one was actually pretty cool. I, I, yeah, this one is actually I I have to say this one was actually pretty cool. In my opinion, just this overall just better than the other two because well, it just I don't know, it just felt better. I was more attentive during it. I just kind of wasn't. At, unlike the other two, I wasn't kind of, my mind wasn't wandering off to other stuff while listening to it. This one was more of a, I actually am listening to it, and I really enjoyed it for the most part. So, here you go. Hoping for something. I've got, like, no good cards here. <laughs> and I guess that's it for music, huh? Yeah. And that's that's what I've got for music. Yeah. I mean, we've got... Fan fiction is going to be a little... I don't have a, a fanfic to talk about. Well, instead, you know, kind of keeping with the general theme of the show... Kind of talk about this, this, the rise of the collab, prompt, prompt collabs, which, if you don't know what that is, basically, it's these, there's, on film fiction, there's groups, and there's a lot of groups dedicated to different things, and a lot of the groups are dedicated to shipping. And these, in particular, not all that particular ships, these groups, they often have these little things where a bunch of the group members can get together and they write these hundred, generally, the rules change a little from group to group, but they, generally, it's a hundred to a thousand words based on a, off a word or phrase as a prompt. And they just kind of have to do these. And they have these massive compilations of like hun- sometimes hundreds of fix for this one ship. And there's been a bunch of them showing up. I think either it was Rare Jack or Rare Pie was the first one. But basically, yeah, it's just this is little, con- not even a contest. It's just kind of you go and you write a real short story based off your fic using that prompt. You know, it has to be within a certain, um, it can't go to a certain degree of, I guess gore or anything. You have to keep it rated T at the top. But there's been a bunch of them, particularly with Twilight in them. Like one the most popular one right now is the Twilestia one, which is like at this point over two hundred chapters long. Wow. Yeah, and there's also the Twi Luna. Twi Dance has also showed up. Um Rare Jack, like I said, Rare Pie, I believe. I believe there's an Apple Dash one. Alright, I'm interested. And so and there's also Recently, within the last few weeks, there's been uh, Chrysolite, which is Chrysalis in Twilight. That's an interesting And one. Moonlight, which is Nightmare Moon in Twilight. Interesting. Yeah. So, you know, there's a bunch of these have been showing up, most of them with, um, well, Twilight in them, not surprisingly. And it's just, if you have a particular ship, I mean, just go look for the group. If you, there's a particular ship that's like you favorite, you really like, just go look for that group and see if they're doing it. And you, maybe you're inspiring you know aspiring to be a writer go look and why did you just draw a gold card why did i just draw a gold card i went to draw draw a different one but you are kidding if you're aspiring to uh be a writer or something just check out these prompt collabs it's like a real good way to like because like again they got a certain rich rule you have to be 100 to 1000 words you have to call the prompt all this stuff and you know if it's good enough they'll release it in the, the the public story and they're most of them are disconnected some of them kind of 
build off of one another. Some of them are interconnected. And some of them, there's like a prompt, someone wrote a prompt, and then an actual full-blown story kind of was built off the prompt, which is actually pretty cool when it happens. So, yeah, it's just, it's a rude way to get these real, the thing is, you know, the stories do vary in quality because it is different authors. Anywhere from like, there's a lot of authors involved, so it's like, the stories vary in quality. But overall, just go look for your like favorite ship or whatever, or just any ship you kind of like, and just kind of see if they have a prompt collaboration. Some of them are just starting, so they don't have a lot or don't even have a public story yet. And others have, like, I saw there was a Sunlight group that kind of only got, like, three stories and hasn't really gone anywhere from there, but alas. But, yeah, it's just overall, just kind of check those out. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, like I said, just general thick recommendation. They update regularly, not always, like, the Twilight Lesky one in particular has been updating almost every day. The Twilight Luna one seems to update at least weekly, so there you go. We, I don't think we have enough time to finish this game. Alas, no one's winning. As of right up. now, we have four Alcatraz against... Is winning by two, by, I'm, winning, uh, I'm winning by two points. By two points. Yeah, I think, yeah, we're not going to finish it in time, unfortunately. But yeah, I think within the next ten minutes, maybe we'll update. one of us can probably... I'll find a little thing at the end. Where it's okay. One. So, yeah. So, two, if you... For some reason, I actually liked what you just heard. <laughs> Us rambling about shipping. Yeah, and I'm going to have to cut this down a lot. Yeah. You can find all of our episodes at 2411.libsyn.com. You can check us out there. You can download, listen to them whenever you want. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. Just search for 2411. Subscribe there. If you don't want to download them, just want to listen to them, just, you, can find them on, you can find us on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash 2411. And we also air... Every Tuesday on Ponyville FM at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. So tune in and listen there. If you would like to get a hold of us, you can email us with whatever you want. Comments, questions, just whatever. Just email us at pony411podcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Twitter. We're at pony411. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash pony411. Go like us there. We might post updates or whatnot. If you want to get a hold of us, Personally, on Twitter, I am at Alcatraz underscore with a 7 instead of a T, and he's at Nemesis Prime 1. So go follow us, tweet us, whatever. Mm -hmm. So hope you liked what you heard. Yeah. Listen to us again. Yeah, we'll next week. What is it? Mm, we're going to a whole new world there. Yeah, nice. Subtle. Subtle. So yes, tune in next week to hear us talk about something else. Yes. Until then, remember... Please plenty responsibly. Good night. After more shenanigans and finally implementing a time limit on turns, Alcatraz managed a lucky draw and went, won the game 10-8. to 8. The jerk. <laughs>